Okay guys, this is uh, the last video of this series uh, talking about the uh, power supply 500 watts for the DJI Inspire 1 and this test is to prove or disprove whether or not the uh, power supply with more wattage versus the uh, DJI power supply with less wattage will be either be faster or slower whether the batteries will get warm or hotter with you know one way or the other one and uh, so anyway without this is gonna be a long video and again as always I am NOT looking for pretty here but just to show results so I apologize for the uh, looks so if you notice right now this battery I got it hooked up and uh, this is my lead right there to be able to see what the voltage is on it right now I am reading 24 point oh, see if you can see it in there can't do these two things at once sorry about that the camera in there is kind of a okay so on this battery we have 24.88 volts and I believe the other one is 24.86 volts it's 0.2 of a difference not anything of the insignificance Correct. So this one is 24.86 volts. And just to give a better chance to the test, I also have a uh, temp gun. So we're going to be monitoring the temperature right now. Currently, on this battery, it's an infrared temp gun. It's 68.4 degrees. And currently, on this battery, 68.6 .6 degrees. Let's double check the measurement. Sorry, it's actually both the same 68.4 degrees. And 68.5 degrees. So, virtually the same temperature right now. So, we're going to say that we're going to put this battery, we're going to charge it with the DJI inspired one, provided one, and this battery with my rig. My rig consists of uh, 500 and, well, 500 watts. Uh, we did add some uh, ferrite cores to eliminate even more noise, even though the uh, noise, as you guys saw in the results is, or the, uh, the line is fairly clean, you know, even a full load we test it with different configurations and uh, it actually performs very well and we have three different heads in there we're only going to use one for this test so we're going to test also the timing and our DJI supply power supply that we have already so we're gonna let's go ahead and plug this in both I'm gonna turn go ahead and turn off these batteries and I'm plugging in the power supplies outside you guys view you're gonna hear the fan from the uh, larger power supply Now I'm grabbing one and one. One for the, this is the one that comes from the 500 watt power supply. And this is the one that comes from the DJI power supply. And I'm going to try to stick them in. I'm just gonna position it in place and stick them in 
or nearly the same time and on so immediately we see that they're both charging okay by the way um, because I'm not concerned about full load the idea is just to see about the possibility to or to see which one actually charges faster and whether or not there, there is a cumulative heat from one to the other one between the power supplies and the batteries so I discharged them as you saw to 24.85 24.86 I'm sorry 24.88 volts one that actually has a little bit of a lead 24.88 volts is currently into the DJI supplied one and the other one by itself right now is hooked up to my monstrosity <laughs> so that's the test again we're not concerned about timing we're concerned more about which one is faster so we'll see once in for all and I will stop the video here and then I will either join this video with the results or post a different video and set to thank you guys okay so we got a few minutes in and I'm going to be measuring the temperature in between right side is DJI supply left side is our power supply left side is reading 68.8 see if you can see it on there okay And the right side is falling behind a full degree, 67.5. So in reality, a little over a degree. Really nothing to be concerned about. However, it is a noticeable difference. Okay, 10 minutes have elapsed and uh, let's take a measurement of the power supply itself. It's actually... 88.3 degrees and it keeps on climbing and let's do a measurement of this power supply okay, so it's reading a 62.5 not even breaking a sweat. And let's go back to the batteries and see how we're doing. Right is DJI, left is our power supply. Sixty-seven. Point eight, and it keeps on wanting to go actually to 68 see if I can get it at uh, anywhere near 68 okay 67.8 and let's try this one Still hasn't raised a bit, so neither one is actually going up as far as temperatures. Okay, time for temperature check yet again. The left side is on the on my power supply, with uh, the one that I designed, and the one on the right is uh, DJI power supply. So 
right? Okay, so the left side is 68 degrees. And the right side is 67.4. So right now the temperatures seem to be about capping off. Don't see that they are getting any um, higher. This one right here, however, the one with the my power supply, has been very consistent at about 68.8 to 69 and the one from DJI has very little by little been creeping up to about consistently now 67 and a half or so so we're about a half a degree off but this one keeps climbing okay guys it's official as of right now, the power supply on the left has left DJI's power supply on the dust. And if you see the timer right now, we are by 46, 7, 8, 9, 50 seconds. So we're going to keep uh, the timer alive and see what's the difference and then calculate the percentage. Here, 66. 60. It's coming down, so it is stopped. There's some seconds here, here and there. Three minutes and 20 seconds difference. You be the judge. I'm just presenting the facts. Um, this is over 15% charge that we did. That's a difference. So this is not from a fully drained battery. So we're not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to tell you as of right now what will be the difference in between them from a fully discharge. I don't know if it's something that we can extrapolate from here or if this is the the absolute difference, but nonetheless um, the non-DJI power supply does charge it faster and it has been proven by this watch and this clock and now let's check on the actual um, voltages to make sure that we are fully charged direct volt uh, the DC current and we're gonna measure it 26.24 and I'm gonna try to get out of the way. I know that it's going to I'm gonna put it like this. There you go, you guys can see them there is on an angle, but you can still see it. 26.24 is what we have on the non-DJI power supply. 26.01. So 26.26 versus 26.01. So actually got to squeeze a little bit more. onto the non-DJI power supply and we're going to double check here the results 26.24 26.24 